Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III, and welcome to my time in Jakarta. And uh, I'm graciously cruising around in a Mercedes-Benz, Mercedes-Benz S-Class S300 long wheelbase. This is the uh, expensive fucker. And uh, this has graciously been provided by a, a huge fan of the Archie Luxury Channel, and uh, also a... Um, how would how would you put it? He's also a he's a billionaire, fuckers. He's a billionaire. That's right. This is the sort of people who uh, enjoy Archie's commentary and uh, input on life. So, um, fuckers, you're watching Archie Luxury. There's also oligarchs, Russian oligarchs. There's uh, all sorts of quality rich people watching the channel, and. Uh, I've been very graciously, I've been very, very kindly put up in Indonesia. And um, I thought it'd be fantastic if I took a little bit of footage of this wonderful Mercedes Benz. I love Benzes. Benzes are just so cool. And when it's an S-Class, it's, um, it's the only way to travel. And I love the metallic -y white. It's like a pearl finish. And... Uh, at least I think it is. And uh, it's got a beautiful tan tobacco type interior. Absolute class. It's, um, it's just gorgeous. I, I, <laughs> I tell you what, I could get very accustomed to this here. And uh, it's a quality automobile. It's, it's, just, it's just class. I mean, you could, you could cruise around all day. It doesn't matter how bad the traffic is. It doesn't fucking matter. This is just, it's just class. Absolute class. And uh, it, it, it's, it's been, this is a fantastic trip to Jakarta. I would have loved to have stayed longer, but, um, you know, I, I've, I've got, uh, you know, I, you can't stay forever. And um, it's, it's, been a, it's been an absolute fabulous trip here. Absolute fabulous. And uh, I'm, I'm already starting to miss Jakarta. <clears throat> You, you can see why, can't you? I just <laughs> absolutely adore it. Absolutely adore it. And uh, this, this, this Mercedes-Benz is um, it's only four weeks old. <coughs> only four weeks old. And um, they have very kindly supplied this car to me to, um, to swan around guitar, get, Jakarta in. And uh, it's, it's really... This is an, an amazing level of car, and it's no it's no ordinary Mercedes. This is this is the the car for the absolute elite, and um, I got to tell you, if I ever did have a spare hundred million dollars, I I could understand why someone would buy and I can understand why someone could um, choose a Mercedes Benz, and uh, it's just superb, beautiful wood finishes. Exotic leather, beautifully made car. This 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 is really quality. This is what a Mercedes should be. And uh, I mean, <coughs> the big thing with Mercedes that's disappointed me over the years, they've released the A class, the B class, the C class. <coughs> I mean, you go back to the 70s, they basically had an E class and an, an S class and an SL. They didn't have cars for each market segment. And uh, now, when you do finally get into an S-Class Mercedes, you can see what a proper definition of luxury really is. And it's, it's the attention to detail. One thing I love about this car is the electric blinds. <coughs> That's right, fuckers. It's got blinds. It's got side blinds, a rear blind, and it's also got a sunroof. This is how you want to cruise around. Not only does it have that, but at the start of my video, you would have heard some beeping. That tells the driver that another vehicle has come very close. It's a warning system. <coughs> it's a warning system to warn you that inconsiderate people uh, possibly <coughs> could scratch your car. So um, just be careful. The seats in this Mercedes here, it reclines so you can sleep in the damn car. You've got buttons here 
which control both both windows, both blinds, as well as the sunroof and rear blind. So um, you, it's it's really the the car of choice for the elite, and you, and you can see why they'd choose a Merc. I mean, this is a um, this is a very very luxurious car. I had a brush with another S-Class Mercedes when I was staying at the Sukhothai. And uh, that was an S, an S, S of a different kind. That was a 2.1 litre diesel with an electric motor. And I, I must be completely honest with you, I think the S400, it's, it's a class above. It really is a class above the Sukhothai Mercedes-Benz. And I don't mean that nastily. I'm just, I'm just giving you a bit of a, a review of what I, um, of what I think of this, this car here. It's, it is lovely. It is lovely. It's the long wheelbase. You've got that extra room in the back. And, I, and you do notice it. I've got to be completely honest with you there. You really do notice this car. And uh, it's it's absolutely it's luxurious. It it really is luxurious. It's a wonderful car to swan around in. It's the perfect diplomats, the perfect CEO, the perfect billionaire's car. It's just a quality product for the elite to go in. And um, whether you drive this vehicle yourself or you have a driver, because most of these S400s would have drivers. I tell you what, one thing the billionaire is missing out on is, is, is driving this thing himself because this is a magnificent car to drive. And I did have a conversation with the driver about this car, and he's, he did tell me he thinks he's the luckiest man in the world. He loves his job, he loves his boss dearly, and he loves driving his Mercedes-Benz. And, I mean, he may not own this Mercedes-Benz on paper, but it's his Mercedes-Benz in the sense that he cares for it. He takes valued guests and clientele and family of the billionaire owner around. He's entrusted with very precious assets. And uh, he, he takes his job extremely seriously. This man chooses the direct route. He takes a safe route and he's very, very careful in applying acceleration and braking in this vehicle. And this is this kind of respect that the, billi the billionaire businessman has from his staff, and uh, it's really, really nice to see. And um, I got to tell you, after meeting him, spending quite a bit of time with him, I am honoured to call him a friend. I hope, I hope he he considers me a friend. And uh, the Mercedes Benz S Class, it's just, just such a cool car. It's gorgeous. It's just everything you could possibly want in a long wheelbase luxury automobile and Mercedes-Benz itself there I've always been a Merc sort of person and I can understand why this particular gentleman has gone the Mercedes way yes he could have had a Bentley could have had a Rolls-Royce but there's something special about a German limousine it goes back to the old days of the Mercedes, 600 grocer, the Pullman, and I really think it's really a fantastic, fantastic vehicle to be whipped around in. I've, uh, I've enjoyed this car and I did come back to Australia and I've jumped into my Honda Civic and yes, yes, you do notice the difference. I'm... <laughs> I thought the tire I thought the Civic had a flat tire because it was so different but um no no I was mistaken so um yes this is a 
piece of luxury which you could really get used to. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you nasty, vicious, foul mouth, lousy, cheap, miserable fuckers think of that. Nice one, Archie. Great vid.